State officials tell me they've called for the removal of Flamer, saying it contains pornographic and inappropriate content. The book, first found in Tulsa Public Schools, also became an issue recently in one of the Metro's largest schools. This book, now the talk of the state. As you flip through the pages, a teenage boy's story of self-discovery and acceptance is shown. His feelings for another boy shine through each chapter. That story, though, shown through drawings in what some call disturbing context. The, the books we're talking about specifically have graphic depictions of sexual acts being performed that we found in some schools in, in uh, middle, uh, middle schools. So again, you don't need any type of overly sexual material in a school with minors. The state secretary of public education saying the books need to be removed from shelves immediately. The books don't need to be made available. Um, we're looking into, I mean, this is, this is pornography and it's pornography that's being pushed to minors. Norman Public Schools, just one of many that had this book available, but we're told in a statement, once we were notified by the State Department of Education about this issue on July 27th, we immediately reviewed our library collection and removed the relevant books from our libraries. Norman Public Schools went on to say, if a student or guardian is concerned with a book, to reach out to the school principal about their reconsideration process. School boards need to be vigilant on this. Our school boards need to get involved. Parents keep speaking out. Well, we have reached out to the state superintendent, Joy Hoffmeister's office, but have not heard back. However, she has called for the book's removal. We've also reached out to the gover governor's office, and they say the governor stands behind Secretary Walter's efforts.